Hi guys, Leslie's back with another video looking at slightly more difficult tree diagrams now. Sometimes the probabilities on the branches are affected by what happens in the first game, match, choice, whatever. So we're going to look at one where the probabilities aren't the same all the way through. So a school choir is made up of six girls and four boys. The school's music teacher chooses at random two members of the choir. She's choosing one, that person then comes out of the group of children and then she chooses another one. So tree diagram situation because we have two different things happening. And the two different things are her first choice and her second choice. Okay, with her first choice, she can either choose a boy or a girl. In her choir, she has six girls and four boys, so there are ten people altogether. So the chance of getting a boy is four out of ten, and the chance of getting a girl is six out of ten. Don't cancel these down because you will be using these later. So leave it as four out of ten and six out of ten. Now, because things are going to change, it really, really helps if you write inside the branches what the situation is at that moment. So there we had four boys and six girls. Okay, now think about her second choice. She's starting from here. She's choosing a boy as her first choice. So she can choose a boy or a girl as her second choice. Now, have a look at what's happened. She started with four boys. She's chosen a boy, so she now has three boys. She started with six girls. She hasn't got a girl, so she still has six girls. Now, by writing the three boys and the six girls inside the branch, it helps you first of all work out how many children there are. She had ten, she's chosen one, so there's nine. So both of these will be out of nine. But it also helps you to see how many boys and how many girls there are. So her chance of a boy is 3 out of 9 and her chance of a girl is 6 out of 9. Now already you can see a difference. The set of probabilities on the first branches are different from the set of probabilities on the second branch but in each case the two probabilities add up to 1. So 4 tenths and 6 tenths is 1, 3 ninths and 6 ninths is 1. Okay, go right back to the beginning she makes a completely different first choice and chooses a girl. So this time with her second choice, she, she can still choose a boy or a girl. But this time she started with four boys and she still has four boys to choose from. She started with six girls. She chose a girl, so she has five girls. And again, she has nine children to choose from, but the setup is different. This time a boy is 4 out of 9 and a girl is 5 out of 9 for her second choice. So not only are the probabilities different on the first set of branches, the second set of branches here and here also have different probabilities. But once you have your tree diagram set up, the rest of the question is the same. List your outcomes. That's where she chooses a boy followed by a boy. Here she chooses a boy followed by a girl. Here she chooses a girl followed by a boy. Here she chooses a girl followed by a girl. Write down the probabilities, which you get by multiplying along the branches. So it's 4 over 10 times 3 over 9, which is 12 out of 90. A boy followed by a girl is 4 over 10 multiplied by 6 over 9, which is 24 over 90. A girl followed by a boy is 6 over 10 times 4 over 9, which is 24 over 90. And a girl followed by a girl is 6 over 10 multiplied by 5 over 9, which is 30 over 90. And if you add these four numbers together, you will again get the number 1. So, to answer her questions, find the probability she chooses two boys, look down your list, there's the two boys, and the associated probability is 12 over 90. 
The teacher chooses a boy and a girl. Look down your list. There's a boy and a girl there, and there's also a boy and a girl there. It doesn't matter which order she chooses them in, they both end up being a boy and a girl. So we have 24 over 90 plus 24 over 90, which is 48 over 90. Now, you would not cancel until this stage. If you choose to, you can cancel now, but it's not crucial. You will get the marks for the answers that you left here, but you can, if you choose to, cancel them down. Another type of tree diagram is when things are chosen, and the important words this time are without replacement. The process is very similar to that we've done in the past, and there are some setting out techniques which will help you get these right, whatever the question. So first of all, decide what your two events are. So the first event is choosing the first ball, and the second event is choosing the second ball. So the first ball, you have two options. It can either be red or black. Now this time, in the middle, between the two branches, write down what you have got. And we have got 10 red balls and five black balls. So we have 15 balls altogether. So the chance of a red ball is 10 out of 15 and the chance of a black ball is 5 out of 15. Don't cancel those fractions down. The second event is choosing the second ball. If the first ball is red, the second ball can either be red or black. This time, if you follow it through, we start with 10 red. We've chosen a red one, so we have 9 red, and we still have the same number of black. So altogether, we have 14 balls. So the chance of a red one is 9 out of 14, and the chance of a black one is 5 out of 14. Now go right back to the beginning again. This time, if the first ball you choose is black, the second ball can again be red or black. But this time, if you go back to the original, you start with 10 red, so you still have 10 red. You start with 5 black, so this time you'd be left with 4 black. Again, 14 balls in a different ratio. So a red this time is 10 out of 14, and a black is 4 out of 14. Right, now list your outcomes. So the different outcomes are red red, red black, black red, and black black. Work out the probabilities. Now I'm only going to write down the actual sum rather than writing them out because we don't need all these answers. So the probability of a red followed by a red, for those the red first branch, those the red second branch. So the probability is 10 out of 15 multiplied by 9 out of 14. A red followed by a black is 10 out of 15 multiplied by 5 out of 14. A black followed by a red is 5 out of 15 multiplied by 10 out of 14. And a black followed by a black is 5 out of 15 multiplied by 4 out of 14. Now, if you look at part B, the only thing that it wants us to know is the two balls are different colors. So they're different colors when it's red, black, and it's a different colour when it's black, red. So it's only those, those two sums I'm going to work out. So 10 times 5 is 50. 15 times 14 is 210. The same here, 5 times 10 is 50. 15 times 14 is 210. So the answer to part B, the probability the two balls are different colours, if you remember, you add the two answers together. So it's 50 over 210 plus 50 over 210, which is 100 over 210, which you can then cancel down. That's an easy one, 10 out of 21. And that's your final answer.